Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech, and today Apple released, surprisingly actually, iOS 12.1 Beta 1. This came in at a very large 2.76 gigabytes, and while that's large, it's very typical when you're switching from a beta or from a final version to a beta or back and forth. So that's pretty normal. Let's take a look at the build number. The build is 16B5059D, and while this update does not have a ton of features, it does have one great feature, but their notes page actually says there are no notes or known issues for this software update. So apparently they've fixed all the bugs with iOS 12, which weren't that many, but fixed them, and there's now just a feature add in this particular one. Now, before we talk about that though, I do have my 7 Plus SE 5S and iPad Pro 12.9, and I'm going to run Fortnite on this just like many of you asked me to, but I'm gonna leave that to the end of the video. So if you don't care about that, it'll be at the end of the video. So the major feature is group FaceTime. And now we knew this was coming originally with iOS 12, but then they pushed it and they said later this fall or later autumn. And so it's now available in iOS 12.1 and I want to show you how it works and let me set that up and we'll take a look. Now I've added a couple of people to the call. We have a couple of options up here, but let's pull this down and you can see you've got some other options. So I'm looking at myself, you can see here through this camera. And if I want to bring up a different one, you just tap and bring it up to the other one. So you can tap on this one or actually that one up here. And there you go. So now we're looking at this phone and you'll see there's my hand over the top of it. So it does work. We'll go back and you get the idea. So you can do this up to 32 times with that many different people. And it seems to work kind of okay. It has a little bit of work to go. And one thing to note is the next time you go into FaceTime, it remembers that there's a group of people in that call and will actually let you just tap on them and then bring all of those people right back in. So it's really nice. Now, as far as speed and everything, it runs really fast and smooth. In fact, I haven't had any issues with speed since installing it on any of these devices. It feels the exact same to me as iOS 12, so no issues there. And then when it comes to battery life, well, that's going to take a few days to know for sure, so I'll do a follow-up. My battery health is still 100% on my iPhone 10, and you'll see I did charge it in the car a little bit, but it looks the same as far as that goes. Now I did run a Geekbench as well. Let's take a look at that. And you'll see here, I ran it twice. I came in at 4,231 or 10,507 for multi-core. If we go to history, if we bring it up here, you'll see that it's, these are the last two that I just ran versus iOS 12. So very, very similar. It may improve over time. It's hard to say, uh, but that's, pretty much it with that. Now, as far as the actual storage being used on my phone, uh, let's take a look at that storage loaded. I'll go down to the bottom and you'll see 20.72 megabytes is being used for system. And basically iOS will use what memory is available. So if there's storage available, it will use it. If there's not, this will decrease. But on iOS 12, it was about 19 gigabytes. So it's doing something with that in the background, maybe with APFS file backups, things like that. So now they'll take a look at Fortnite and we'll load Minecraft over here. Minecraft is already loaded. It's trying to resume. There we go. Resume. And you'll see it's nice and fast as far as resuming. In fact, this feels a little bit faster than it did on iOS 12 betas. So it seems to be okay here. And I'm surprised at the performance improvement with the betas or iOS 12 in general with these older devices. This is a pretty old device now and it runs quite well. Now let's take a look at Fortnite. Some of you want to see me play this last time. I couldn't find anybody, but let's take a look. So we're already in right here. We'll hit play. Now, while we're waiting for this, let's take a look at iOS 12.1 on the SE. The SE should be nice and fast. Uh, no issues as far as smoothness, scrolling back and forth is nice. If we go into the music, Everything's nice and smooth. It feels like it did when you first got one. And I'm really glad that they updated it like that. Well, that was over really quick. Well, that's not nice. 
Well, that didn't go well, but frame rates and everything were pretty smooth. I have no complaints there, so it's running well, and it didn't crash. So that's it for iOS 12.1. I wasn't able to find anything new on the iPad either, uh, just the group FaceTime that I showed you already. So that's pretty much it. Also, one thing to note, though, is Google updated Maps, so it now works on CarPlay. So if you have iOS 12 and Google Maps, you can now use it on Apple CarPlay. Let me know if you want to see a video about that in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say about that. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. Also, I'll leave a link to the wallpaper in the description, as I always do. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.